everyone, it's Podcast Edo, and before we begin this episode is we got another sponsor. Nope, not just from my book yet again of Who Am I For Real, Growing Up With Edo Part 1, but also from our guest today of Blurt City of the book called Phantom Pains, The Most Irregular Tale, Book 1. And also on that note for my book is that we have the Q&R code right here. And also the links of this will be provided below for the video description. And now, as usual, let's start the theme song. Here we go. Talking from with Edda. It's Podcast Edo, back at it again with another episode of Talking Fun with Edo. And next, we have our guest, the Blurred City Podcast. And before we begin, we just got to play a little sound right here that goes up. Just in case, um, there might be some deep topics we might talk about. And without further ado, here is the interview. Hello everyone, it's Podcast Edo, and we have our 37th guest here, the Blurred City Podcast. Say hello everyone. What's up? What it is, boys and girls and people of indeterminate race and gender. <laughs> You're already trying to get this man channel canceled. You gotta chill. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, I don't Look, think hey, I tried to be as inclusive as humanly possible. <laughs> right. I mean... <laughs> We always starting off with a banger already. Um, so one of the first questions I want to ask you guys is, uh, where are you two from, by the way? You know, we out here. We coming out outside of Texas. You know, we from Texas. Out, yep, out here in the in the big red south, mm. H town, H town. Yep. And speaking of which one of my other guests that i've interviewed a little while back for my halloween special fusion ah they're also from texas too and also uh a friend of mine ryan shover was also from texas and another my first guest that was originally from new jersey staying at full cell at florida and then moved to texas the ink pain 18 also from texas he lives there now he lives in texas now so it's like now we got the whole Texas crew and one thing I've noticed is that you guys both have the same name so and on that note I was wondering if you guys don't mind how did you guys you know meet each other all right so it's really cool so I moved here from college so I uh from mm -hmm. grad school I went to Iowa State and then Iowa. got to Texas we kind of like met through church or whatever and everyone was telling me um Oh, there's another Demetrius. There's another Demetrius. There's another Demetrius. And then so mm -hmm. we ended up meeting and like literally we were like clones of each other because like close to the same age, literally like like all the same things. And it was just right. like really cool how we met that way. Right. Yep. And then on my end, uh, when I because there was a group text that we're in and one guy said like, oh, yeah, we have Demetrius moving in. And then I literally posted in the group chat like, hold on. But I'm, I'm here. moving in. <laughs> Right. It was like moving. He said, nah, there's another one. I'm like, ain't no way there's another one of me around. Nah. This is Highlander rules, baby. Or the or the Oppenheimer. It's like there could only be one. Yes. Yep. Nah. <laughs> this is Highlander rules now. There can only there be can one. Only, there can only be one for sheep. All right. So yes. Yep. And then and now and then of course we met. It was like, all right, rest is history. You know what? You me. I am you are me. I mm -hmm. am you. Exactly. Let's get it. Double you. Mm -hmm. If you guys understand the reference, you guys earn earn the Hello Project badge. If you guys understand that that reference, <laughs> I'll explain it once we go to the other side. Fair, fair, fair. Yep. So, um, one of the things I've noticed that you guys have is your own podcast. And on that note, I want to congratulate you guys of like getting to 80 episodes and also for your YouTube, you guys are almost at 100 subs. So I want to congratulate you guys on that. 
Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, one thing I wanted to say, if like some of our listeners do uh, see this, they're going to be mad at me because I'm I've been on hiatus for like a month and a half because mm. um, I've been trying to publish a book and among other things. So seeing me here, they're going to be upset. <laughs> wow, you you're making your own book? Yeah, so I'm doing a sequel to my uh, previous one. Oh, you made you made a book? Oh, okay. Yeah. What so my first, called, by the way. First one is called uh, Phantom Pains, The Most Irregular Tale. So that's available on Amazon now. Okay. And then for my sequel, it's called Phantom Reckoning, which is, you know, obviously the second book in it. So that's dropping February 9th. It's going to be available on Amazon plus Barnes and Noble. So, okay. Is it like a manga you made? No, it's uh, it's a novel. So it's a okay. sci fi based book. And it's essentially, it's kind of like Logan meets My Hero Academia. So it's kind of right. like this world where, a lot of people have uh, powers and they're called irregulars. So essentially right. in this world um, with it, there was a war that was caused because of an irregular and it took out the entire state of Wyoming. So that's mm -hmm. how it kickstarted. So now like it's 25 years later, uh -huh. they're second class citizens. They're essentially, if you use your powers, you're going to get hunted down. And yeah. so like the main character is a, is a doctor or therapist, counselor, however you want to describe that. And essentially, he tries to stop human trafficking of irregulars, and it kind of just like builds from there. Mm. That's a very deep novel. It's interesting you said that you're releasing a book because not too long ago, I released a book, which, like I said, on the other side, I guess I'll explain it more coming through. Um, are you releasing anything anytime soon? Like, do you have your own projects as well? Oh, yes, absolutely. So essentially like what I do on the side is less on the writing side and more like video. Okay. Uh, because of the fact that like, um, if you can't tell by like my user tag of Jedi Ronin, I'm basically a whole uh, Jedi. I'm part of this group called Saber Guild and we go out and do like fun events, uh, go out to various different cons, perform. Yeah. Whole, whole lightsaber fights and all that good jazz. Mm. And recently we got access to a high production camera, a production crew, and a drone. So wow. let's just say that we about to make like whole fan films out here. Wait, what kind about of drone? To change the game. Is it the drone that flies or is it a Star Wars drone? Ooh. Which which one you think? <laughs> Plus, I'm not the one who has the drone, but uh I already mm. seen it. I've seen what it can do. So I'm just like nice. right. I'm ready for these. I'm ready for this next stage. Hmm. Wow. You guys have really got some. This already skips the last part, but don't worry. Like, you know, I'm not coming back to it, but it's like you guys answered like the last, last part, but that's okay. So back to like the podcast, when you guys are like making episodes and stuff of stuff, like how do you guys come up with the topics that you guys talk about, you know? It's funny. We actually had like a pre-meeting, I want to say two, three weeks ago, which should be a surprise to our listeners because they don't know if I'm coming back or not. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> spoilers. But um, right, with that, right. usually we kind of just like look at, OK, what's coming out? So uh, movies are coming out like Dune is coming out in March. Godzilla Ver Kong, which yeah. we're about to go crazy for. So it's like, OK, yeah. those are temples that we definitely want to do. And then it's like, Hey, is there anything that we want to build out around it? Or what did we miss? What's kind of hot in nerd culture in a sense right. like that? So we kind of discuss it. Things that um, we're excited about. If we want to bring on a guest, like what does this guest specialize in? And then bring them on. So that's kind of how we discuss it, essentially. Nice. Yeah. And then going from there, that's when, and we also like to try to input like, all right, here's some of our own ideas. Like, all right. So within these episodes, like, okay, what, what are some segments that we want to uh, add in like some different podcast segments? And then we just decide on that. And then we just roll up, roll with it, record it week by week, uh, get a plan out and then just, Hey, get the editing and all that good jazz done by upload day. Yeah. Yeah. I've noticed that it's audio, but who knows, you know, will you guys move to video anytime soon or? Mm, it, it'll depend. It'll probably be like only if we have like guests on and it'll okay. depend on the guests. But typically gotcha. it's just another level of editing that we have to do. Yeah. And <laughs> editing is a pain in the butt. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For all you podcasters and all you upcoming podcasters, just know that, uh, 
audio editing is is no joke it's nothing to play with uh right. so i can imagine video is is going to be a lot worse and hey you may never know uh right. with my with my new advent and new projects that are about to kick off then you, you may never know that those skills may transfer to me yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, like, we both have, like, nine to five jobs and then yeah. other responsibilities post that. So it's just, like, the time that it takes to edit is just, like, not where we want to spend our time. It's all good. I mean, you know, we're all we're all making what's work, you know? So now I think since we got over the main part, we're get, now getting over to the usual part of first and inspirational so one of the things I've noticed, especially from, you know, your poster in the background is we're going to talk about anime. So what was like the first anime that you guys saw and what was the anime that made inspirational to, you know, keep watching? That's tough. Meet you want to go first? Oh, dang, why'd you have to make me go first? I All mean, right. I can go, but. <laughs> All right. So, so as for the first, I, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm like with. Uh, 99% of the percentile of people in our age range, it was Dragon Ball Z and okay. actually the entire Toonami bracket. That was, mm. our, our, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had to bust out the Toonami bracket, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, as well as four kids. Uh, uh it's four, four kids, you know, I, I, I can't knock on Pokemon, Pokemon Go to, uh, but yeah, like those were like again, all the shows like Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon, Yu Yu Hakusho, Gundam Wing. Roni Kenshin, yes. all of that just really yes. set me like really set me up for the anime lifestyle that I had to suppress for a long time because you yeah. know you get clowned on in school if that was the case. Which is crazy. Uh, yeah, and now looking at it now, I'm just I'm actually a little bit tilted that I couldn't. We on top. <laughs> we on to right. We making the business demands. <laughs> yep. But if as far Revenge as the nerds. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. But as far as the one that truly like cemented it inside my soul yeah that just like yes i mm, mm, attack on titan yeah all right like, we just finished the the entire yeah, series. the whole thing it's finally it's over it's over it's over after I'm 20 legit, parts yeah after 20 years it's finally over and i'm actually legit One probably gonna time. go and rewatch it all in english Oh, okay. <laughs> so I watched it all in sub Japanese in the original language, yeah. <laughs> and and now I'm gonna go back, go back in the dub, go see, in English, see what's gonna go down. I think right. I watched like the first three seasons in dub because um yeah. the first season by the time I started watching it, it was already out for a while, and yeah. then like pre pandemic, like the simul cast or dubs and subs would usually come out at the same time, and then post pandemic, it's just been like yo. We'll get to it when we get to it, because right. like the um the dub literally just dropped like uh, a week ago, and that was like two three months after the uh, sub finale. So yeah. I, I switched over halfway. Uh, mm. But yeah, is that the inspirational one for you, Meech? Oh yeah, very inspirational for me, and that should be concerning for a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. I mean, a, a Jaegerus friendly podcast we are. I remember you guys won a few episodes. Y'all were talking about Jaeger, and, and like I said, I'm not about to do a spoiler or anything like that. Um, the I'm not sure if you win. Like, what was your favorite? Yeah, for my first, first one, in inspiration. Sorry. Well, for my first one, it's kind of weird, you know, understanding what anime is, because for a yeah. lot of us, he, I know you mentioned like Toonami. A lot of us, it was actually like Pokemon, Yu Gi Oh, Beyblade, a lot of things like yeah. that. But oh, to yeah. us. It was cartoons, like we couldn't distinguish mm -hmm. that. Um, so obviously, yeah, Toonami, but I say the first one where it was like where I was like on the fence at first, but like well, actually I loved it. But like Meech mentioned, once you get to middle school, you kind of like hide your anime love. Naruto. In a way, yeah, you have yeah. Naruto is the one <laughs> where like just man, like doing jutsus, getting in tr trouble for that. Um, doing well, I never did the Naruto run. That that was a bridge too far. But yeah, doing the Jutsus was definitely one that I would do. Um, those types of battles, like uh, <laughs> PlayStation with it, that Naruto is definitely one. I know it gets a lot of hate uh, mm. now, mostly because of Boruto. Now, and wow. the well, because of Boruto, and then the way that's that that's what I was thinking. It was like I didn't think the original would get that. I thought well, it was, it's, yeah, it's a residual effect, and then there's a lot of filler. Right. Yeah. 
like Boruto painting the original. That's kind of crazy. Speaking right. of which, they they said they were going to reanimate the the first series, and like I've been seeing clips of it, but they they haven't announced it anything. So like, are they right. going to like do it like make it like like most old animes like have well, an HD or just like yes. like they're redrawing? It's like it's like updated um visuals. So like if you were to see, it's like on some okay, of it so on Twitter, like, yeah, if you HD, see it, it's like yeah. whoa. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've seen, I've been. There's been certain animes I looked at. I was like, oh, they HD this now, like Sailor mm-hmm. Moon and stuff like that. I was like, oh, okay. Speaking yeah. of which, I, it's now like I believe it's now been like ten years since the Viz Media did the whole thing, mm-hmm. and it, and I know it took them a while because it's funny. From the original, it was like they were they were almost done. They were almost like we're not doing the last season. No, Deke stepped out of the last. Season. It's like we are not. No, no, we did all we did for the first half. But Viz literally completed the whole chapter, and it's like, so y'all did the movies too? Yep, the movies, <laughs> they did everything. They literally did from the first season down to where it ends. I was like, oh, they completed the chapter. So now we're going to move on. Another thing that's a little bit similar to it is gaming. From my last guest, like, he's a gamer and stuff as well. Um, What was you guys first game and what was the game that made you guys keep gaming like for inspiration you know Mm, that's a good one i would say my first game probably like on game boy like pokemon were were some of my first ones pokemon sonic adventures like i I, like i tore that up i went through so many batteries for the old (laughs) old school game boy which i don't know about like traveling it yep and then for the longest time I had uh Xbox. So I think I got my first X, like I had the original Xbox, the the blocky green and black one. So with that, right. some of my first ones were just like sports games because like when I was too young, my parents weren't gonna get me anything crazy. But yeah, Modern Warfare 2, um, the original one, and then the Arkham series took off. Like mm. those were like, I'm here for gaming. Like right. yeah so oh yeah yeah and then for me right uh actually thanks to my sister like i had the original like nintendo entertainment system the original Ooh. nes with wow. mario i had mortal Kombat, the og we also had the super nes basically my household was the entire like nintendo and sony catalog yeah so, you guys had the the beginnings yeah yeah so we had like both oh, like both generations like all of sony systems yeah. i have in fact you can see like this ps5 right over here um but and then as far as the one that kept me gaming well besides mortal Kombat, because i always love to commit fatalities on um in gta of course Uh, speaking of gta san andreas the six one six one's coming soon if they stop leaking if they stop leaking we'll have the six finally (laughs) they've they've been taking care of that person (laughs) yeah that person's already uh been packed up because of <laughs> because of that but yeah gta san andreas all the sports games uh actually all of the dragon ball z fighting games yeah <laughs> the, tur- the tournaments yeah that i had at my house in the living mm. room me and all the boys like you you lose past the controller over yeah you yeah know, all the friendship all the friendship enders you know what i'm saying hmm so Another thing before we get into like one of the last things for it is um you guys heard that now there's been two winners that won the Tetris game and I was wondering what was you guys input on that I text I texted Mitch about this he can go <laughs> how that's my first my first question is how second question is can I achieve this uh, <laughs> because and how many hours did you put into it because you must not have seen the light of day for the past like twenty generations. That's nah. It's the that fact they crazy. used the original controllers. That's the thing for me. They weren't using the switch. They were using the OG controllers. Yeah. Nah. Wild. Insane, if you will. I congratulate them though, because oh yeah, the first dude went through the ringer in Britain, but like uh, our our media is like, nah, we're gonna celebrate you, and I know the second guy is going to get just as much praise hopefully you know what i'm saying because that first dude i'm like why would you say this to a child like who are you ma'am 
Yeah, I didn't know it was like an endless game where it just keeps going. On. You know, you lose. I always thought you lose and then it's over. But like, there was a level that you could get to where it stops. I didn't know. Yeah, it's just and, like and it's the, the end where it stops. It's like you didn't. You wouldn't think it's over. It's like no, that's actually the end of the game. It stops. Yeah. You like, like there was no way. How did you find out about this? <laughs> We didn't. We never knew for generations, and now it's been done. Forty years, and it's forty four. After forty years, it's after not only making it, they could they cracked the code. These two I, gentlemen, I congratulated, they Ooh. cracked the codes. I got a conspiracy theory. Um, hmm. The movie for Tetris just came out, like yeah, maybe heard last that. year or yeah. so. So it being completed now, something suspicious. I, that's all I got to say. Okay, so one of our Tetris like last thing. Oh, sorry. I was like, "What do you think this is? The Tetris Overlords about to come in? <laughs> it's it's promotion. You got to set up the blocks to make sure the world is still Back in us all up." <laughs> <laughs> um. So one of our last questions we have before, like we say our farewell, is um cinematic of movies. So I was wondering what was like the first movie you guys have seen, and what was. A movie that made you guys be like, I love cinematic universes. Oh, jeez. I mean, first movie I've seen is hard to say, but I know Space Jam, oh, no, which I know uh, exactly which one was hard for me. Space Jam was one that I've always loved since like people told me as a baby that I loved. And that mm. uh, that was a a little controversial that we picked that to win a certain tournament we had. <laughs> All right, sounds, sounds right were- in there, yeah. Yeah. Our listeners were not happy about uh, the winner of that. How episode, dare you but... guys choose Space Jam over uh, Studio Mizaki? How dare y'all? You have no clue because uh, we did a best sports movie tournament, um, uh-huh. and yeah, that that was crazy. Um, inspirational for cinematic universes. Ah, man, I want to say like maybe Dark Knight because that was pre Marvel. Um, with yeah. that and just like those Batman series. I'm trying to think of anything. Oh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, but it, it's not technically a cinematic universe, but since mm-hmm. it's a trilogy, but yeah, yeah, that was yeah, definitely the first one where I was like, yo, I love this so much. Oh, me too. Yep, yep. It's Spider-Man till the day I die. Uh, first again, in Inspirationals? Uh, that's Yeah, it's, Spider-Man definitely going to be in the inspirational category, but Absolutely. as for the first category, mine is actually pretty interesting. So at the age of three, I... I saw a special movie and it completely changed my life. It's called okay. The Exorcist. I, I know. Uh, Whoa. Yep. Age of three. I my sister ended up just popping in the VHS. It, for all of you hey, that don't know. Would you like to VHS watch this movie with me, little brother? Yes. And she thought it was gonna terrify me, and it did the exact opposite. Uh, <laughs> it molded you. Yes, it 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 literally changed my life because now I'm a lover of horror movies. Uh like everything like all the slasher movies i love like friday the 13th i actually have like every single blu-ray like right here um yeah. and all the halloweens and everything like that so and i'd watch those just as if i was watching like cartoons that's how yeah like i could go to sleep watching somebody getting right slaughtered. just watch it like while it's just playing like yeah this. Some good white noise, but yeah, like yeah. that—that that set me off on a dark course. But uh, but it still ended up like on the good path. I love all the cinematic universes. You know, Marvel's still doing its thing. Uh, right. like Avengers was game changer. Dark Knight, absolute game changer. All the Spider Mans, the X Men movies. I'm I'm surprised we ain't had a chance to talk about Hugh Jackman. Maybe I guess didn't. it's just because like X Men was so hit or miss. And like, mm. especially the later ones, where it's just like, geez, what are we doing, people? Right. right. But yeah, those first two and a half were really good. Mm. So before we leave, um, I want to ask you guys, uh, how do we find you if we want to connect with you guys? Absolutely. So we had we actually have our Instagram, our ex, formerly known as Twitter, Mr. X gonna give it to you, as well as threads. And we have that under Blurred City 22, B-L-E-R-D-C-I-T-Y 22, two twos. Uh, that's where you can come find us, give us like, uh, follow, comment on our posts, and this way you can stay up to date on like our release schedule and different things like that. We also have our YouTube page, uh, 
and our Patreon page under Blurred City Pod, P-O-D. And that's where, you know, that's where we post a lot of our videos of the podcast as well. And we have ourselves with the Patreon, right? That's where you can donate a little bit of extra cheddar, a little bit of extra bread, uh, anything to spare to us uh, podcasters. And that's where you, and in return, we give you special episodes that do not see the light of day. Right. Special episodes that are exclusive to the Patreon. And then we have ourselves a Discord, which is also the Blurred City Discord. It's linked in our Instagram page. And that's where you can join this fine community of degenerates that we all know and love. Um, and just pure degeneracy happens there. And then finally, we have our email address, blurredcity22 at gmail.com. That's hmm. where you can like ask us for like send mailbag questions for us for different things we can submit uh things like random fan theories where like hey i have this theory about just any of topic or anything in the realm of nerddom you can send that to us via there or you can just send like comments love hate all of it any publicity is good publicity around here right and finally there's myself right i am the jedi ronin the the underscore Jedi J E D I underscore Ronin R O N I N. I'm on TikTok and uh Instagram, and that's where I just post different content, especially in regards to lightsaber combat. Uh, and then yeah, that's pretty much all me. What you got for my individual author pages? We have my Instagram, Mitri underscore dash, so that is M E T R I underscore D A S H. For my ex, formerly known as Twitter, that is at the mad dash 16. And then for my book, Phantom Pains, as I mentioned earlier, it is available on Amazon and Kindle. And then for the sequel, Phantom Reckoning, that is available on Amazon, Kindle, and Barnes and & Noble. And the pre-order for the ebooks are available for on both sites currently. Thank you. Wow. Well, that was really a great way to really know about you guys and even know about what you guys and even stuff of coming up soon in the podcast. These was all really great stories and really great stuff that you guys have shared with me. And now we got to say our farewell. So see you guys later. Bye. Deuces. See ya. I hope you all enjoyed the episode of me interviewing Blurred City Podcast and for our shout outs we have for today, we have DGP and Diversity Fields. Now also on the same note, uh, also on the same note coming up is they have done an interview with me, so please be on the lookout for that. And also on a related note on notes of notes is that my next interview is going to be my friend Matt. The other map from my white berry video that looks like this. So, as usual, I'ma see you all later. Talking from with Adam.